What's going on you savages, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another roundup episode. This is episode 302, keeping you guys up to date on all the latest news and rumors. Before we get into it, a quick reminder, yesterday we covered some of the top story as we head into Money in the Bank, the all-in event that will also be happening later on this year, and the surprising favorites to win the Money in the Bank ladder matches for the male and the female match. So make sure that you guys check that previous episode out if you haven't yet because there is some very interesting reports there pertaining to superstar that could be getting a huge push and much more nonetheless on today's episode we're gonna be continuing all the latest in regards to the money in the bank pay-per-view the latest in regards to john cena and we will also be discussing two major feuds that could be happening within the next couple of months which wwe could be building for as of right now and we're gonna start off with discussing one of those feuds as the WWE could be building toward a big long-term feud with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. As you guys know, they're pretty much destined to fight forever or at least be involved with each other's storyline. But right now, they're friends again, saving each other and assisting in wins like how Sami Zayn helped Kevin Owens win Money in the Bank ladder match spot this week on Monday Night Raw. But it looks like those two will light up the ring once again. It is just going to be a slow burning feud. Meltzer briefly discussed on Wrestling Observer Radio why WWE seems to have Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at odds with each other one week and helping each other out the next. It was discussed how last week they weren't okay with each other, but this week it is clear that they're already back to being best friends. So the rumors that we got a month ago of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn splitting up, those are still intact, but WWE might be saving it for a different type of pay-per-view because money in the bank obviously needs a big name in the ladder matches and kevin owens already qualified for it so for the time being wwe is putting a small stop into that long-term feud that they are planning maybe it is something that we get to see at SummerSlam, or maybe even next year at wrestlemania considering that this was actually one of the rumors this year and yes we've seen it again but i wouldn't mind seeing it again considering the fact that every time that these guys go at it they gives us pretty much a four to five star match and sticking with Sami Zayn and the money in the bank pay-per-view it was also speculated on the wrestling observer radio that Sami Zayn could be squaring off against Bobby Lashley at the event and this certainly looks like the way that WWE is headed to simply because Sami Zayn and Bobby Lashley are not going to be in the ladder match for the money in the bank contract or I should say money in the bank briefcase I'm sorry Vince nonetheless with WWE doing a segment with Sami Zayn quote for exposing Bobby Lashley on next week's episode of Monday Night Raw, it is very possible that they will set up the match between the two for the upcoming pay-per-view. As for the matches that has already been confirmed, we actually got some update following this week's Monday Night Raw and SmackDown Live. So of course we're getting the men's money in the bank in which we got Braun Strowman, Finn Balor, The Miz, Rusev, Bobby Roode, Kevin Owens, a member of The New Day, and Samoa Joe or Big Cass as they have a qualifying match next week for the women's money in the bank we got ember moon charlotte flair alexa bliss and becky lynch with four more female superstars yet to be announced for the raw women's title we got nia Jax versus ronda rousey for the wwe title we got aj styles versus shinsuke nakamura which the stipulation hasn't been made just yet and for the smackdown women's title we got carmella versus asuka which was announced on smackdown this week week and moving on to some other news and we're talking about the latest in regards to john cena and nikki bella because as you guys know they just broke up recently they call off the wedding and there has been a lot of speculation that this breakup is actually a work to hype up total divas and the total bella show now i haven't covered this drama way too much simply because it is not that much of in-ring wrestling related but nonetheless it is john cena and it is nikki bella so i want to discuss an article coming from ringside news which kind of summarized what been happening recently and why this could be a work so john cena's response to question about nikki bella during the today show rocked the internet and caused some people to explode with a lot of accusation and dave Meltzer actually noted on wrestling with several radio that john cena appearance on the today show didn't face him because at this point he 
is convinced everything is a work as well. He stated, I concluded that right now everything is a complete work. I'm not saying that the whole everything is a complete work, but right now, everything between those two that they're doing is a complete work to build the television show. Melso basically indicated that yes, there is probably issue between John Cena and Nikki Bella, and yes, the issues is probably that John Cena is not ready to be a father, even though he is saying that he is ready. So with contradicting reports like this, it begs the question whether or not this is actually a work. We know that a lot of scenes of Total Diva and Total Vela was actually reworked to instead focus on their breakup instead of them heading towards the wedding, which also doesn't add up too much because it means that a lot of the production that was already done are gonna have to be done again, which seems to be a little bit of too much work to reshoot so many episodes just for a breakup that a lot of us are kinda imagining that they're gonna be getting back together anyways. So these type of speculations and report that I just basically discussed is not just coming from wrestling or server radio but also other sites speculating that this could be a work or at least part of it is a work just like if we were watching Monday Night Raw or Smackdown Live. I'm curious to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments below. And moving on to some other news and uh, some plans that I'm certainly interested in. So as seen on Monday Night Raw episode this week, WWE repackaged Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel and they are now going by the name of the B team moving forward which by the way they picked up the victory so they are currently undefeated which is amazing so while discussing their backstage segment where the b team wanted a title opportunity for the raw tag team championship it was discussed on the observer how this is actually the plan moving forward for curtis axel and bo dallas it wasn't necessarily detailed what wwe is going to be doing moving forward but as of right now bo dallas and curtis axel are set to challenge Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy in the very near future. And the reason why I'm excited about this is because I think that these two guys, they definitely could get over by calling themselves the B-Team. Because if this week was any indication, they certainly got the crowd behind them, even though they are quote-unquote a heel. I am hoping though that WWE ends up building them up slowly, similar to how they did with Brisango, but hopefully don't run this gimmick way too long. Because we just might end up getting bored of it similar to how we did with Brisango. And it's not necessarily that we are bored of it, but more like WWE simply just forgot about them. And moving on to the last report that I got for you guys on today's Roundup episode. And we're talking about a potential major feud that is coming on Monday Night Raw. Mike Johnson speculated on today's installment of PW Insider Elite Audio that Seth Rollins may be the next challenger for Brock Lesnar's WWE Universal title. These speculations are steaming from the fact that Seth Rollins continued to tease Brock Lesnar in his promos, especially now that he is into Continental Championship holder and how he continues to state that this is the workhorse title and that he is certainly not the same type of champion as Brock Lesnar. Besides that, we also got in Seth Rollins tease Brock Lesnar on social media recently when he started using hashtag Brock who. Now, if you guys remember, this was actually a match that was quote unquote rumored to happen at the Royal Rumble event this year, way before there were rumors of Brock Lesnar versus Finn Balor. So WWE has been planning this match for quite some time now, but it just seems like they haven't been able to pull it off. And this might finally be the year that we actually see it happen simply because Seth Rollins is on the top of Monday Night Raw right now and we really don't want to see another rematch between Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns or Brock Lesnar and Braun Strowman it's simply because we've seen it so many times last year and this year already. So hopefully this is a match that they plan for SummerSlam Survivor Series or even maybe next year's WrestleMania. Seth Rollins certainly did serves it and i am hoping that this is something that they're building towards nonetheless you savages that is what i got for you on this roundup i hope that you guys enjoy or found this informative make sure to elbow drop a like on this video if you did subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications to be fully up to date as always and to not miss any of the uploads we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers much to dig it